Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Chanel. I hope you're doing well, having a lovely week. I'm really excited for this because I feel like this video is going to be the launch of spring content, summer clothes, happiness, joy, good times, hopefully the easing of lockdown and just good energy comes with this style of video. And goodness me, have I got some summery things. Like I'm manifesting good weather, with this haul let me just start by telling you guys that we're doing a huge Shein haul i haven't filmed one of these i think since last summer it's my most viewed video which baffles me to this day i'll link it below anyway because it's quite in depth about their swimwear if that's something you've always considered and you want to know a bit more information on it i will leave that video link below um but yeah i've got a large iced coffee here i am ready to go i've ded dedicated like two hours to filming this I'm going to try everything on, talk you through all of the pieces, completely unsponsored, completely my honest opinions. If you are new, I would absolutely love it so much and love you forever if you could hit subscribe and turn the little notification bell on. But I'd love you even more if you could check me out on Instagram. I'll pop my Insta here. I'll also leave it below as well as my TikTok and just my business email, anything like that. We left in the description box if you want to get hold of me. But today is Shein. I'm excited. I found some gems, I think, like creme de la creme kind of gems before we get into the video if anyone is new here i am roughly just under five foot eight i'm five foot seven and a half but i never like to say that because i think it makes me sound like a bit of an idiot my specific height if you wondered i'm typically a uk size 10 to 12 i tend to be a 10 on the top half and a 12 on my lower half that fluctuates sometimes i'm a 10 it really depends on the shop and the item enough rambling i guess we should just get on into it I'm excited. Start with an item I've already worn and I think is going to be super popular with all of you guys. And this is this beautiful cloud kind of sweatshirt. I love the vibes this gives off like a dreamy kind of chilled laid back um, loungewear piece, but obviously you could wear it out as well. Super, super soft, this knit. I did grab it in a size medium. This is the cloud sweatshirt that I have just popped on. I've kind of folded the underneath over. You could obviously have it kind of longer, but it tends to go a bit clingy at the bottom. I love this. Super soft on the skin. I really like the fit in the medium. It's slouchy, but not too oversized. Has the little cuffs here. I just overall really do like the fit and the design of this. I know these are super trendy. I wish I could credit the place that first probably came up with this design. Um, I'm not doing that on purpose. I just don't know who or where that was. I love this, I think it looks so cute. It's such a good spring transitional piece because it's still a piece of knitwear, but it's gonna take you more into the summer months because it's pastel and spring vibes. So I was super happy when I got this one. I have to speed up because we've got a lot of clothes to get through, so I do apologize. Next I'm gonna style two pieces together, two birds, one stone. That is such a cute little outfit that I decided to get when I was on Shein. The first thing is this skirt. This is a super cute little tennis skirt. I've actually previously bought a tennis skirt from them a few, well, it was really like three months ago in black. And I got a large and it was too big for me. So I actually went to a medium. We'll see how this fits because it does look kind of tiny. This gorgeous sage green little tennis skirt. And then I picked up this kind of strawberry shortcake vibe knitted vest. Not going to be for everyone, but I thought together this would be the cutest outfit. Okay, I'm sorry, but this is so cute. I, It is strawberry shortcake, I appreciate that, but I like it. I'm enjoying that kind of vibe. They do this in so many different colors. If the sage green is not for you, I know it's super on trend at the moment. I love this kind of color. I love any color that's like muted or pastel. I also got this in a medium. It definitely is like cropped and smaller. It's gonna be better with stuff that's high-waisted. So maybe you might wanna size up if you want a more of an oversized fit. Overall, I really like it. And I just love how it looks with this skirt. Let me show you guys. So this is the outfit all together. I hope you guys can kind of see over there. This is the sage skirt, which, do you know what? I'm really happy I went for the medium because it's fitting really nicely around my waist area. The only thing I will say, it's a little bit on the short side at the back. So I would maybe pop on some like bigger shorts underneath or something. The colour is gorgeous and I do think it's a super cute skirt. It's really frustrating because they only do like small, medium, large and the sizes do jump quite drastically from medium and large. I feel like I need something that's in between. But overall, I love this little outfit together. I think it looks so cute with a pair of sunnies, some chunky white trainers, a denim jacket. Love, love, love what it looks like up close as you guys can see it definitely has a tighter fit to my waist area um 
but I do love it. I'm gonna change up the tops. I'm gonna keep this skirt on. I love this. I've already got a top from Shein that's very similar. This in a medium. I would say their t-shirts run a little bit small. So if you're bigger busted or something, or you just want a bit more room to breathe, then maybe size up. But I think this would look so cute with this skirt as well. Okay, so this is the top. I love it. I think it's really cool, really different. Um, it's kind of like a geometric sort of design. I love um, like where it sits with regards to a skirt like this. So I do have some sage green trousers that I, I think would look equally as nice with this top if you wanted to wear it now. For me, this is like just such a summery outfit that I currently have on. It's very, very cute. Um, yeah. 10 out of 10. I'm gonna go for this sweater. So again, this is something that she and do in a load of different colors and styles. I actually got this one in a medium again. Seem to have one for a medium in a lot of these things. Normally I size up, but I obviously wanted a kind of, you know, more slim fit. V-neck on this, the knit feels really nice, super soft, not itchy. Goes across the back as well. A lot of brands are doing this style of sweater at the moment. Just add something a little bit different to an outfit. So you could even wear them as well. You don't always have to wear them like on. I always quite like at the moment how I'm seeing girls wearing them slightly like this, like the very smart. Okay, this one's a little bit small. You kind of get the vibe. You could do this with it too, which is cute. This is the little sweater, which I love. Again, super preppy vibes. Really cute, like the way it fits. It's a little bit short on the arms. I might be a long armed person, I'm not sure. A little bit short on the arms. Nice for spring though, because it's a good like throw on. Nice for the summer, very lightweight. Some of the summer dresses. I'll start with this yellow one. And then once I've tried that on, I'll just move straight on to this blue one, which both of these look really cute. The only thing I will reference is the length. They do look a little bit short. Again, I'm about five for eight, so we could come across a few issues. As a size guide, I believe I've got both these dresses in a medium. Okay. I think we're on to a winner here, guys. This is so flattering. I cannot even begin to tell you. It feels really nice. It's like a linen. It fits, I'm shocked, like so nicely. So this is the top half here. Has this little kind of puff sleeve detail. Very gives me like, kind of like princess Cinderella shape and color vibes. Oh my gosh, it's the nicest dress. Hang on, I need to load the camera. With the camera a bit, hopefully you guys can see. I'm standing back here, hello. Oh my gosh, I flipping love this so much. This is so nice. The length is really flattering. It would look amazing with some sandals, with some white trainers, a denim jacket. I love the fit up here. Also loose, so if you're gonna go out and like have a few drinks or have something to eat in the summer, it's nice and loose. It's not like clingy, which I can't stand that. Love the top half. I think this here in a top, would be so flattering. 10 out of 10, I love this one. The only thing I will say about the yellow is the yellow fabric is more like a cheaper, thinner, like flimsier. I'm not a massive fan of this fabric. You can probably hear it. I kind of know what I mean, it sounds like a parachute or something. This is more of like a linen. It's quite a nice fabric. This is the yellow dress. Again, like I mentioned, I'm not a massive lover of the fabric. However, I really like the color. I think it's a really nice spring option. It has kind of like a ruched top, a much tighter fitting top, and a looser, floatier bottom half, which I just personally prefer the cut of. Bit confused about these. Like, do I wear them here on the shoulder or are they better off the shoulder? Is this a little bit like, ah, sound of music? Is it better to have them on? Please let me know your thoughts. Is it the length and the fit on me? I actually really do like this. I like how it skims over my hips. It's not too clingy. Like I said, the only thing that's bothering me is this kind of fabric. I could imagine if it was really hot as well, you would be sweating in this dress. Like, it's just like very clingy. I do really like the little details. You could obviously tie these up into little bows on the arms, so it's a bit difficult. But that would be so cute. I mean, how cute does that look? I do really, really like this. I think it's a nice little cover up dress. I'm just not sure how often I'd reach for it in comparison with other dresses I already own. So I'll do two items together again. I have this top, which I think is so cool. Has this kind of crisscross pattern down the front. The only thing I will say is because I don't have the biggest boobs, I find these tops sometimes are not that flattering because I don't really have a lot of cleavage. But it looks super cute. I love the color. I got it in a medium. Again, comes in loads of different colors. And for the trousers, I thought I ordered these in black but they're more like a navy. So either I've ordered the wrong color or they've sent me the wrong color. Now are like a pair of wide leg flares. This is gonna be so interesting. Um, that look like this. They do look a little bit short. With this like tie. So it like is meant to go around your waist area. They look a little bit low waisted. Don't have the highest hopes for these trousers. But let's pair these two items together. 
see what we think. Not too sure how we got here, but we're gonna roll with it. Let's start with the top. Uh, I don't hate it, but it's literally held up by a piece of string, like literal, like look at this right now. You couldn't wear, you can't wear a bra with it because obviously you can see it in between the gaps. Inevitably is gonna come a little bit loose because you're tying it up with literally a piece of string. Like I said, it is a braless top just because of the way it is. So that if that's something that's just off the cards for you, then you probably will not love this. It's a cute concept. So yeah. So these are the trousers. I'm gonna film a little bit on my phone and pop it like here or here so that you guys can actually see them full length. Short as I thought they were gonna be. I maybe would like them a little bit longer so I could wear them with something super chunky, but yeah, they're not too short. What do I think about them actually though, like flattering wise? Guys, I'm really not sure about this. Like they're definitely a low waisted kind of trouser. I think you're meant to like cross this up your self. I mean, how does this even work here? Like one of those pieces, like those sausages that, I don't know. Um, um, I'm not 100% sure guys. Definitely in a blue, which I don't know how much I'd reach for. How flattering they actually are. I don't think they're actually that flattering. Let me know if you've ever tried trousers out like this before. What you think, I don't think they're for me. There's definitely other trousers I would go and opt for. But again, I've had trousers that are a lot more flattering. Yeah, I think I'd probably leave these behind. I've really noticed that with Shein. I tend to love their tops and swimwear. Their bottoms, like nine times out of 10, I've had bad experiences with. So I kind of know what to stick with now. Next up is this top, something which I think loads of you guys are going to be interested in. I recently posted this photo over on my Instagram, styling up this top, and you guys really, really liked it. That is one way to style it, the photo that I have on the screen. This is another way where I've kind of wrapped the pieces underneath. I think this gives you a little bit more added security, by the way, if you're wondering how to tie these tops. It literally is just one big piece of fabric that you kind of tie up however you want. Uh, maybe I'll leave a tutorial below on how to tie up these multi-way tops. And this is what it looks like here. It's a bit twisted here, but you get the gist. I love this. I think this is one of my favorite things currently on Shein. It would look amazing with some high-waisted black trousers. I just think it's so great and like a classic. Um, and if they do it in other colors, I think it'd be amazing to get in some like bright oranges, bright pinks for the summer. Next up, I have this super cute little knitted vest. Love this so much. Again, I grabbed it in a medium. What's nice about it is it's not too oversized. I have a lot of these that are just a bit too oversized and not the most flattering. Really love the color of this. It's like a stone blush pink, very neutral. Again, I have a photo of me wearing this already with some beautiful like powder blue trousers. Oh my gosh, it was just the dreamiest outfit. You could also do this over the top of a white shirt dress. That would look so cute. Really, really love the knit on this. I'm being so complimentary in this video towards Shein. Like I said, not sponsored, everything I paid for myself. Honest opinions here. I just genuinely really like the stuff I ordered. I think I kind of hit gold here with the bits that I got. So yeah, love this cable knit number. I think it's very cute. Love these shirts. I picked this one up in the white. And then I also did just grab it in this blue color, both again in a medium. They're a really nice crop fit, great for layering if you want to do the collar thing. So as you guys can see, it has quite a big collar on this. So say you wanted to take the sweatshirt that I showed you from before and have this over the top, the collar would look so cute sticking out. Same with the blue one, just really practical things really to wear with skirts, jeans, bit of a basic, but I really, really liked them. I think they look really sweet on. So I did grab them in the blue and the white. Next up, I'm going to try on this dress. A little bit nervous about this because this is where me and Shein tend to not get on so great. I got this in a medium, but it has no stretch to it at all. It's a little tweed dress. It is gorgeous, so cute, giving me all the Blair Wardle vibes. So Gossip ga Girl, Gossip Girl, Gossip Girl vibes. Really love it. I just don't know if I'm gonna get it on, to be honest. I think the top half won't be the problem, it's the lower half, like across my thighs. So we'll see. I think it's such a gorgeous little dress. She got it on. She got it on. She did get it on. The, the biggest problem is it's like stuck to me. Like I can't move in it. It's so tight. Sadly, I think it's a little bit too tight, which really upsets me because it's gorgeous. I also can't get this bit zipped up. I, it's not because it's too small here. It's just I can't do it myself. This is the top half. I mean, how gorgeous is this? It's so Coco Chanel, tweed. I love it. Very Paris. 
beautiful beautiful little outfit that is so common on Shein if you're looking for things like this it's a little bit like the two piece I'm going to pop on in a minute which gives me very similar sort of look and vibe overall so this is the dress overall you guys can probably see what I mean the way the white belt bit kind of goes here is because it's really tight here across my thighs don't really know if there's a lot I can do about that, which sucks because I absolutely love it. It would look so, so nice with some little classic pumps, some little black heel boots. Oh my gosh, I think it's lovely. Um, this is how it fits here. As a top, even, it would be so nice. But yeah, it just is a little bit tight across here. Let me know in the comments. Can I get away with wearing this? Do I need to go up a size? Would the next size up be too big on this part? I really don't know. I feel like I'm getting carried away with the whole Chanel vibes. And to be honest, I bought this guys and I don't think I'm ever gonna wear it out of the house, but I do think it's very cute. It's definitely a little ode to Paris where my heart totally belongs, as I'm sure you guys know. And I do think it's very cute, but I just can't really see myself actually ever wearing it out. Maybe I'd wear the blazer undone with some jeans and like a white t-shirt and make it a bit more cool. Something that you'd probably never find elsewhere. So I wanted to reference it before I get into the swimwear. I do think it's very cute. Okay, so now I'm gonna move it over to swimwear and bikinis. Um, let's start with one pieces, cause you know, they're offering me a bit more coverage and making me a little bit more brave. Start with this one. This is so popular amongst everyone. Um, this is the one piece that I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna openly say it. It's essentially a knockoff for the House of CB one. This bit kind of goes across here, I believe. I love the pattern on this, I think it's gorgeous. I loved the House of CB one, but it wasn't cheap. And when I saw this one Shein, I thought, let's just give it a go. I am quite a fan of Shein swimwear normally. So I'm interested to see how this fits. I did go for this in a medium. I'll tell you, I'll leave all my sizes below because I know swimwear is complicated with them. Some of their pieces I have a medium, some I have a large. It really depends on the swimwear piece. My biggest recommendation is when you go on the website, click on the reviews and go on photos and you'll be able to figure out if someone's like a similar body type to you and what size they went for. So, so here we go. I flipping adore this. Let's start with the top section. Definitely actually gives a little bit of cleavage, which I'm quite surprised about. I hope I've got this on correctly. I think it's meant to go like across, like this strap is meant to go across like this. Love this sort of design here. I love the vibe of it. Like it feels kind of old school. Um, yeah, overall, I really, really like it. Again, this is in the medium. I potentially could have got the large just for a little bit more coverage kind of around this region. I probably wouldn't fill out the top half of the large. This is it at the back. I can't show you guys too much. It's a little bit cheeky, but not too much. I've got swimwear from Shein that's even more cheeky than this. I would feel comfortable wearing this on a family holiday. The only thing I will say, it's a bit of an awkward tanning bikini uh, one piece because you're going to have these kind of random crisscross lines across here. But I do think it's a really nice option. It would look amazing with like a white sarong or even if you wanted to wear it as a bodysuit and do like a white skirt. I think that would look gorgeous on holiday or just in the summer with some nice like lotion and really like this. This colour is going to look lovely on literally everyone. Um, I'm super happy with it actually. So let's move on to this bikini. I saw this and just thought... This is cute. I really like the kind of rust moment with the white. It's like a two-tone kind of bikini design. Again, it does that thing where it's gonna go across similar to this. The only thing I will say is when you get a medium in the top, it means you have to get a medium in the bottoms. And in hindsight, I wish I could get a large in the bottoms because these do look very, very small. They look tiny, actually, if you ask me. Here we go. Now, I have not tried on a bikini since last summer on the internet and you know, I'm happy to do it. I'm confident, here we go, we're rolling with it. But there's always an element of just uncertainty. I haven't done it in a long time and it just makes me a little bit nervous, especially with lockdown happening. I haven't been the best with my eating and working out game, but that's okay because we need to show more representation of varied body types. That's another conversation. I don't know how I ended up going on that tangent. But what I'm trying to say is just be nice in the comments. I would really appreciate that. You guys are so nice in my last Shein haul. This is the bikini. I'm not gonna show you too much of the bottoms. They are small. However, they're not tiny. Like I would wear them on a girl's holiday. Small at the back, but at the front, they do offer more coverage than I actually originally thought they did. Love the split sort of contrast detail that's going on here. This is a little bit unusual up here, but I don't hate it. I think I need to tighten the strap. A bit more the colors are gorgeous like this rust with the white love it i think it's gonna look on really good on so many people's skin tones but overall i would wear this i feel comfortable in this if you just wanted to do plain white bottoms that you already have at home that you know you like 
you could do that with them. Very happy, surprisingly very happy. Okay, so next up I have another bikini. I have this super cute blue and white pattern bikini. This is a little bit more itty bitty bikini vibe. Again, I went for this in a medium, but as you guys can just see, like the tops of these are quite small. So just bear that in mind. Like look, that's not exactly a lot of coverage there. These are the bottoms, very, very tiny. This is definitely more of like a tanning option. It is small. However, I have two kind of like sarongs that I mainly wanted to show. The matching sarong that comes with this, which I think is gorgeous. It's like this beautiful kind of blue and white swirly vibe and design. And then this, which I think is so cool because this is actually a pair of bikini bottoms. So as you guys can see, there is a pair of bottoms in there, but it's like a little skirt. So this is perfect for someone like me. I feel relatively confident about the top half of my body, not so confident about the lower half. I do have hip dips, you know, I have bigger thighs. Honestly, this is so flattering. You can ruche the sides and make it look really, really good. So I'll show you both options. You could even do this skirt with the bikini top I have on now, and I think that would look amazing as well. With probably one of the more small bikinis, I have one more left, which is equally as tiny as this. This is the uh, bikini top. It's definitely on the small side. I mean, this is what Shein called a medium. I'm not gonna call this a medium. I have a lot of girlfriends that have far bigger chest areas than me, and trust me, they would not be getting into this medium. It is really quite tiny. Bottoms, I'm not even gonna show you. <laughs> this is where they're coming up. They are tiny. They are tiny on the back. They are teeny tiny. I would only wear this to sunbathe in, nowhere else. I would wear the sarong with it or potentially the other little white skirt. So I'll start by showing you guys this sarong. This is the little sarong that comes with the bikini. You can obviously pull it down, do it more on the hip area or have it higher and do it on the waist. Love the print. I think it's very, very cute. Um, I just love the whole concept of this overall. Screams holiday to me, screams summer. Definitely something you're probably going to want to tan in rather than like wear running around or being overly active. Like I probably wouldn't wear this on a jet ski, if you know what I mean. Things could be going all over the shop. But I'm gonna really quickly show you guys what this skirt would look like if you didn't wanna do this sarong and you'd rather do the skirt. And I did get this skirt in a large, um, which I'm actually really happy about. I think the large fits me really nicely. Slightly, maybe slightly big here, but it's really, it's really not, it's fine. So I love the ruche design. You also have these sort of ties on the side. So you can make it as ruched as you want. And because it comes with bottoms, sewn in you're absolutely fine like it doesn't matter how short it goes there are bottoms underneath this skirt even though it looks like there aren't any this would be so nice like if you want to go to a pool party and you really want to wear a bikini i would just go for this like straight away like this is something i would 100 percent pick to wear i think it's very flattering i like it at the back you can swim in it you can like you know hang by the beach in it it's absolutely fine it's waterproof but it just offers you that little bit more coverage. And for someone like me, it's very flattering across the hip area. I actually love this. I like how it looks with this bikini top. And the nice thing is, is you can, like I said, mix and match it with so many different bikini tops. You can do the, um, this one that I showed you guys earlier would look equally as amazing with a skirt like this because it's in white. I'll do my best to link this below. I also have one last bikini, um, which I might just show you guys and not actually try on because it is just absolutely minute. And this is where you've got to be a bit careful on Shein if you're trying not to get swimwear that is just tiny. Like these are in um, a large. These are, these are actually in a large. I picked up these bottoms and just look at them. Like they are mini, mini, mini. They are so, so small. Not just at the front, like also at the back. I love this cow print though. I think it's really fun. This is the top. So I think what I would do with this bikini is wear the top with this skirt. Again though, this top for anyone who is wondering, and you're thinking of ordering this specific bikini, is in a large. This is the size of the bikini top in the large. I'll just put it on here so you guys can get an idea. Like it's even smaller than the bikini top I currently have on. This is tiny. Okay guys, so that is actually everything for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and it did help you in some way. Definitely down for doing another Shein haul before summer kicks in of just swimwear. Let me know in the comment section if that's something that you want to see. I'll also link last year's Shein haul that I did. So overwhelmingly surprised and impressed. Again, unsponsored, my opinions as always. You know if there's any other bits you guys have been picking up or eyeing up recently on their site. I think their swimwear is fab and also different. And there's such a wide variety. 
So it's kind of a bit of trial and error, just figuring out sizes and what particular ones are gonna fit you. But once you crack it, some of their swimwear is honestly great and I wear it year after year, particularly their one piece that they have, which I just rave about. I think it's so flattering on everyone. So yeah, very impressed. Hope you guys liked today's video. Hope you're enjoying my content. Don't forget to check me out on all my other social links below, TikTok, Instagram, um, all of that good stuff, Depop. Thank you for watching as always, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.